Hello and welcome to my new video. This video is about how to screencast your iPhone or iPad screen to NixOS. And this is made as simple as possible, so feel free to follow exactly the steps I do. And I will also share my configuration files on my GitHub and I will put that in the link below. So to get started, you should log into your root user to make it as easy as possible to adjust your configuration files. And then we go into ETC NixOS. And here I show you, I made it now compatible also with Flakes, but it doesn't matter if you use Flakes or not, this will work anyways. First of all, we go into the configuration.nix file. So let's do that. And here I just added to import the file ux.nix. You do not need to change anything else in the configuration file. Everything else we do inside uxplay.nix file. And then we create uxplay.nix, just like that. And then you can just enter those values here. Basically, that's already almost it, but I will go through each step, what each means. So this is basically to make sure that it actually gets recognized as a normal configuration file for which you can import into your normal configuration.nix. Then we have here which ports needs to be open. This here, these here are the TCP ports for UX Play, and these are the UDP ports for UX Play, and this one is an important port you need to open for Avahi. Avahi is basically to enable the new network discovery, just so that you can find the NixOS system from your iPhone or iPad as a screen you can broadcast to. Then you need to enable, obviously, the service for Avahi. Those are like DNS values. Basically, this is also what enables you for network printing. Then, obviously, you need to enable that it publishes, that it opens the addresses. Uh, as a workstation, we do it like this as a user service, so you don't need specific user permissions and everything. And then again, as a domain broadcast. That's basically it. Then, once you do a NixOS rebuild, as rebuild switch, it should build for you relatively easy. And that's about it. The next thing I show you real quick is I created a desktop file. So we go into application, created the desktop file. And here also I added a logo. You can use whichever logo. I just put it here in this place too and called it airplay.png just so that later when you open the application, it can attach a logo to the application. Otherwise it would show the known no logo, which is basically really ugly. So that's why I did that. And then in the desktop file, you can find here the following entries. Desktop entry to make it available as a desktop file, the encoding version, and so on and so forth. And then here, this is important, UX play dash port, uh, P for port, so that the port forwarding is enabled. We gave it the name UX play so that when you search for the application, which I'll show in a second, it will bring up the correct name. And then here the icon where I put it, you can obviously use whichever icon you want uh, and then just link to the icon accordingly. Now I show you exactly how to start it. I didn't start it as a default starter application, but that's up to you if you want to do that. And to start the application, I switch to my other screen and then I show you how I do this. So I go into the normal application start and now as I created the desktop file, for this to be available, you need to log out and log back in. Then I just type in UX, UX Play. It starts into basically nothing. It literally just starts the server. And then you have to just drop down in your iPhone or whatever and go onto the quick menu settings, the screen mirroring, and there you should find the NixOS UX Play link. And I will show you exactly what it looks like, where you can find it in a second when this is started for me. So here we have the setup and yeah, literally this menu, you click here on screen mirroring and then you will find it here. And that's about it. I hope you will have a lot of fun with that and can use it for whatever project you're working on. It does not allow for remote control. It just allows for exact screen mirroring. But as you can see, it works pretty snappy. And you can also change some settings. You just need to, uh, like for broadcasting, you just need to adjust the desktop file which I created just so it starts with that setting all the time. And that's it. I wish you a nice day and see you next time.